Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Elizabeth Gish, manager of the Seminars and Symposia program here at the National Museum of the American Indian. Welcome to today's program, Finding Common Ground, um, in which we're going to explore the complex and sometimes fraught relationship and history of African Americans and Native Americans, and how these intertwined stories have become an <coughs> excuse me, essential part of our American identity. We're especially pleased to be co-sponsoring this symposium with our neighbors, the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Thank you for being here, and a special welcome to those of you watching online. Uh, one note, rather than having an open microphone for audience questions, um, we have provided note cards at the table in the lobby, which you may have noticed when you came in. And if you have a question for our speakers, please feel free to write it on a card nice and clear and leave it in the basket that's also on the lobby table. And we'll share a selection of these questions with our moderator for the panel discussion that will follow our break this afternoon. Uh, and of course, please turn off your cell phones. We are live streaming this uh, program. Thanks for that. I'm honored now to introduce award-winning journalist Michelle Martin, who will moderate today's program. Uh, Michelle Martin is the weekend host of NPR's All Things Considered, where she draws on her deep reporting and interviewing experience to delve into the news of the week. Martin came to NPR in 2006 and launched Tell Me More, a one-hour daily uh, news and talk show that aired from 2007 to 2014 and focused on the way we live intersect and collide in a culturally diverse world. Martin was previously with ABC News, where she served as correspondent for Nightline. Martin reported for the ABC News Magazine day one, and she won an Emmy for her coverage of the international campaign to ban the use of landmines, among other honors. She also hosted the innovative 13 episode series Life 360. Before joining ABC, Martin covered state and local politics for the Washington Post and national politics and policy for the Wall Street Journal, where she was White House correspondent. Please help me welcome Michelle Martin. Michelle? Thank you all. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for that lovely welcome. And, um, but I think it's, it's important to acknowledge the obvious. Um, some of us are parents. Some of us have ties to Florida. Uh, some of us have experienced losses that I think are well, very well with us. And all of us are human beings. So with that being said, why don't we just take just a moment to each in our own way think about the events of yesterday. Think about our sadness, our grief, our anger, and let's think about our hopes for a better world. Let's take just a moment. Are we ready? Are we ready? We're ready. OK. I'm so happy, despite my sadness, I'm so happy to be here in this lovely space, in this remarkable place. And it's interesting you know, how we come to places like this to take a step back you know, from the busyness, you know, from our day to day, to get some remove. And yet, you know, as we see, there really is no such thing as the past. Case in point, uh, those of you who follow the news, you may have followed the major address that the United States Senator from Massachusetts, Elizabeth Warren, delivered at the Congress of the American Indians yesterday, where she delved into the history of the person whose history, oops, I should know better, is recounted in the galleries upstairs, Pocahontas. So if you have time during your visit, I invite you to see that marvelous exhibit and its connection to our current politics. And I am a journalist, so I think in stories. 
And the stories that come to mind are, I'm thinking from this very nice kid in my class at Econ 10, where we were talking about the more and less restrictive forms of labor. And of course, slavery comes up, as well it should. And this nice young man pipes up and says, oh, that's not true. Slaves are like a part of the family. And then there are other stories. Those of you who live in this area may have perhaps had this story when you might try to explain to some of your guests or even perhaps family members why certain sports apparel is not welcome in your house. And you hear, oh, that's not true. We're honoring X, Y, and Z. So as a journalist who's been very interested and very deeply interested in how the questions of history and identity play into our very current questions about power, and about policy, this afternoon's discussion is really very welcome. And in fact, I might argue that it's one of those stories that's just hiding in plain sight. And you're asking yourself, how come nobody thought of that before? Why didn't we have this conversation before? Well, people have been having it, so now we get to have it all together. And I think that that's really amazing. So this is a moment when it's both easier and more fraught, isn't it, to entertain questions about our roots and so this is a very welcome opportunity to add some real heft and some deep thought to these important conversations. And so I'm really excited to hear our presentations. We're going to take a short break, and then we'll come back and have a panel discussion where we will all talk together. As Elizabeth mentioned, we're using press club rules where you'll write your note. And, and that's a great way for us to see kind of what's on everybody's mind. I know she said, turn off your phone, but what I would actually edit that to say, turn off your ringer, uh, because we do have a hashtag. And it is Smithsonian Common Ground. And so we'll be following the hashtag sort of on our break. Keep the conversation going. Start it now, if you like. Just turn the ringer off, if you would.